Hey everyone, it's October 3rd, and that means that if today's your birthday, you share with Italian serial killer Michaela Profetta, known as the serial killer of Padua, who murdered two victims and was caught while plotting to kill a third. And that is him right over there. And I'd like to apologize for my terrible Italian pronunciation. Born in Palermo in 1947, Profetta was the second child of a mother who was already in her 40s and was raised in a very strict household. He avoided any serious legal trouble, but lived a life full of failed careers and relationships and became a compulsive gambler. Married multiple times with children from his first wife, he never maintained a stable career path, finding himself laid off time and time again. Feeling marginalized by society at large, Profetta found himself working a job of distributing flyers on the street at the age of 50. His personal life was a mess by this point as well. He had a wife and two kids at home, but was also in the midst of a long-term affair with the secretary of a previous employer who didn't know he was married. For 15 years, Profeta maintained two households, living alternately with the two women, each unaware that he was also living with the other. Any free time he had, and it's amazing he had any, was spent at the casino or studying statistics, which he thought held the secret for winning big. He began to formulate a plan to commit a crime that would put him on easy street and thought he had it all worked out. In 2001, he sent a letter to police in Milan that he had stenciled onto a sheet of paper demanding 12 billion lira, roughly five and a half million dollars at that time, or else he would begin to murder random citizens in the region. The police didn't believe it was a real threat and ignored it, but on January 28, 2001, Profeta took a train to Padua and hailed a taxi, having the driver take him to a quiet neighborhood. When they arrived, he pulled out a pistol and shot the man in the head, then calmly walked away. The taxi driver died an hour later at the hospital, and the cops initially thought it was a botched robbery. Another letter arrived at the police station the next day, threatening to kill again unless his demands were met. They had no suspects in the case, found no fingerprints on the letter or at the scene, and knew they had a dangerous man on the loose. Twelve days later, Profeta took a tour of an apartment for rent. During the tour, he shot the real estate agent in the head three times, then left another stenciled note and two playing cards with the body, the King of Diamonds and King of Hearts. The police knew there was a serial killer on the loose and put all their efforts into tracking him down, tracing phone calls in and out of the area. Profeta had been using phone cards to place calls home to his two families, and detectives used that to note an unusual person was in Padua. He was picked up on his way to a job interview, and it seems he was ready to kill again, since he was carrying a loaded pistol and the king of clubs. When they searched one of his homes, they found a stencil and a deck of cards missing the kings. Profeta seemed shocked that his scheme didn't pay off. He had dozens of cell phones that he was rotating between, apparently believing doing so would hide all, hide all his communication. Profeta was convicted and sentenced to life in prison, where he died of a heart attack and died just three years later in 2004. He never revealed the significance of the playing card, so that's a mystery we'll never know the answer to. But it is, once again, safe to walk the streets of Padua since Michaela Profeta is gone. If this is your birthday, I hope you have a great day. Leave me a comment so I can wish you a happy birthday. If you know someone whose birthday it is today, send them this video so I can find out all about their birthday twin. And to Michaela Profeta, I say, happy birthday, you bastard.